How, how's the body feel, Travis? And what was it like, sort of rehabbing or whatever to, to get to this point? Yeah, it feels great. Um, you know, unfortunately, a little injury happened during camp. Um, took that time to recover, um, you know, and really focus on the mental aspect of the game and, uh, you know, just trying to be the best teammate for, uh, for my teammates and just trying to help the team in any way um, possible off the field as I wasn't participating. So. Travis, that long catch that you had, just talk us through what, what, what you're seeing and what was it like to finally get out there and, and get a catch on your Yeah, own. it was awesome to get back out there. Um, and great, great catch uh, from my first game back. Um, you know, Adrian threw a, threw a great ball, gave me an opportunity to go up and make the play. Um, and uh, we practiced it all week, knew it was going to hit. So it was awesome. Did you have a good idea for, for most of the week that this was the week you'd been back? Or I guess how long would you were you sort of targeting this week as when you'd be back in action? Yeah, um, we had a set timetable on when I wanted to get back. I had a goal. Um, so, you know, I just I give a lot of credit to the uh, training staff for getting me back. Um, they did a great job. Um, and now I'm just trying to focus on staying healthy. So. How much, when, when you went back and watched, I mean, how much did it help to have you and Austin on the field at the same time? And, and how important is that two tight end stuff for this offense going forward into the Big Ten Yeah, I think it's very important. Um, you know, I believe that, uh, you know, 12 personnel is the best personnel out there. Kind of biased as a tight end uh, myself. But, um, you know, I think that Oz and I uh, both have a great understanding of the offense, um, can play both positions. Um, and when we're both out there on the field, I think uh, we roll pretty well. You've been a Big Ten guy your whole career. What would you? How would you explain the grind that's ahead now? What, now that you're right into mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's got a yeah, tough tough part of the schedule coming up. Um, you know, it's totally a grind, like you just said. Um, you know, but the whole season's a grind. Uh, treat every game um, like the most important game. Um, so you know, we're pumped. We're excited. Um, you know, guys are working their tails off, and uh, we're ready for the uh, part of the schedule to start up uh, with Michigan State. How do you see guys react to sort of watching back Saturday's game? You know, you play the number three on the wire. Is, it, is that what you expected going in? What can, what, what's sort of the mood coming out of a game like that? Yeah, um, you know, personally, I always go into a game expecting to win. Um, and I think this is a good game to build off of uh, for at least uh, next couple of, of games that we have. Um, you know, guys are excited. Guys are ready to go. So. Travis, uh, 12 personnel, just you dive a little bit deeper. Why do you like it so much, and what kind of benefits does it give an offense to have? Yeah, um, you know, I'm biased. Tight ends, I'd love to have as many tight ends on the field as possible. Um, you know, I think Oz and I, you know, go hand in hand when we're on the field, and I uh, love trying to go out there and make plays for this offense to help us win. You've never been on the field for 14. I'm just thinking at one point during the goal line, you had four tight ends. In the game is that the first time you've seen that? Uh, yeah. Um, I I'm trying to think back at Rutgers. I don't think we ever had any 14 personnel at previous school. But uh, you know, it was awesome coming out um, when we uh, put that in the beginning of the week. You know, I was super pumped about it, um, having all the big guys on the field at the same time.